hi guys again it's me um i would like to share my uh birth story with you um the reason why is that i listened and i watched um, a lot of videos on youtube about their birth stories and i learned a lot i i got a lot of positive and negative feedback not of all of it was good but uh I learned a lot from it and I thought I share my story with you to to tell you that uh, that it, it's a good experience I really had a really good experience on my, in my birth and I, I just wanted to share it with everybody so um, um, where should I start um, first of all it all went really fast and uh, and I'm surprised because they say first uh, first births are actually very long and very tedious and very painful. And um, first of all, we planned a home water birth. Uh, so we uh, we went to talk to a team of amazing amazing midwives that uh, helped us a lot through the process. We learned a lot about home birth, um, and I was very determined on. Uh, on uh, going through with the process and uh, even though people kind of scared me about it they they told me you know that I was crazy that being at the hospital would be a lot more safe but I really wanted a natural birth I was having a good pregnancy I had no uh, a very uh, low risk pregnancy it all went very well through the pregnancy so I was a good candidate for home birth um, so I felt pretty safe here at home and I think that's one of the reasons why everything went so fast. Uh, first of all, uh, Matteo came a few days early, but uh, you know these dates that they give you are actually not 100% accurate. I'm sorry, they're doing some work outside, it's a little noisy. So um, anyway, it was uh, around 6.30 in the evening and I've been having a few days before that, I've been having a few breast and hicks contractions, I think. What I thought it was a few breast and hicks contractions that actually ended up being labor, but I really never noticed the difference. I don't know, maybe some of you already did. I didn't notice. Uh, they were just as painful, so I didn't really know the difference. And. Um, um, I was with a couple of friends and, uh, no, I was, I was with my boyfriend and a friend of his and they were playing basketball and I just got, we have a park right across the street from where we live, so we, they were playing basketball and I was just reading, uh, a book and, uh, all of a sudden the contractions felt a little bit, a little bit stronger and a little bit closer together, so we came into the house and, uh, Nick was supposed to work that day, but uh, of course, I that was, I don't know. Nick was supposed to work that day, but he uh, he cancelled, of course, because I can't. We kind of knew that, that that today was the day. Uh, anyway, uh, those contractions were actually uh, not too painful, and uh, we were watching TV uh, and. Uh, I was, I wasn't comfortable. It wasn't, but it wasn't that uncomfortable to be honest. I, I was imagining a lot more painful. We called the midwife, and she came over, um, and um, she kind of looked at me, and she thought for some reason that I wasn't uh, that far along. So she told me to take a shower, go upstairs, and relax, and uh, uh, she would, uh, she would be waiting for my call later in the evening. But little did I know that the minute she leaves, uh, contractions start to get a lot more painful and uh, I don't have more than, I have more, I don't have more than a couple of minutes in between contractions, so it was pretty intense. Uh, so we decided to move uh, to the bathroom and uh, Nick prepared the bathtub and I, I go into the bathtub, had the bathtub, uh, that's the thing about the bathtub. I actually thought it was going to get less painful because every, everybody says it's like the natural epidural. When I got into the bathtub, it was uh, it was crazy. Everything went a lot more, uh, a lot faster. You know, I felt the urge to push. Everything went pretty fast after that. So we called the midwife, but of course, 
they live like 30 minutes away so she already thought you know she had that I wasn't in labor that day and, and so uh, she already drove back so when we called her and uh, Nick told her that I was actually pushing she had to drive back but it took her about 45 minutes to get here so most of the birth we kind of did it on our own it was almost an unplanned unassisted birth but uh, I I was feeling those contractions were very very intense and I won't lie to you they were painful uh, and all of a sudden I just feel like getting out of the tub I was uncomfortable and as I say that the epidural natural epidural didn't work as I planned and I just wanted to get out and one tip that I can give you if you're about to give birth is just do whatever you, your body feels like doing. Just let your body do the work and just just go with the flow. Seriously, because it's, it's, it's the best thing you can do. So I got out of the tub and things started progressing a lot faster. I was kind of on my hands and knees and my water broke right there. I felt it. Uh, oh gosh, the water coming out. And, uh, and then... Yeah, uh, the midwife came a little bit after that. I started pushing and um, it was painful, but it was very intense, a very empowering feeling, like a rush of adrenaline. Uh, and I, I have to say, uh, I was a, a little bit scared of the whole thing, but after the experience, I'm, I'm actually glad that, that it went the way it did. Um, Mateo came out um, and... Uh, and they put him on me, he breastfed right away, and uh, I didn't care. Uh, I think it's because I was just letting my body do the pushing. I didn't really push when I didn't have to. Um, you just, you don't really need to do much. You just need to let your body do the work. Uh, that's the best tip I can give you. Just let your body do the work because it does, it does. And trust that your body's gonna do the work. Um, so, yeah, um, after that I took a shower and Nick stayed with the baby uh, and then I came back and uh, yeah, he uh, he started breastfeeding that night. It, it worked very well. The next day we kind of had to uh, get him to, to get uh, interested in food again. I don't know, he was just a little sleepy. But everything went very well and I've been breastfeeding since then. Mateo is now three months old. And it went very well. Uh, the reason why I wanted to do this video is that, uh, uh, well, I'm, um, I'm very happy that I gave birth at home, that I, I was a good candidate to give birth at home. It was an amazing experience. I'm not planning on having a second child anytime soon, but uh, it was a good experience for me and uh, Nick, for both of us. And uh, I encourage uh, women to give birth at home if they can because it, you're, you're safe you feel you feel so safe at home and um, in my opinion birth births have uh, become too medicalized uh, is that a word medicalized yeah and I, I sometimes I feel like they mess up a process that uh, was going okay but they make it they stay they, they speed it up somehow or they slow it down or they don't let their women, the women do the work uh, or their bodies do the work and it really, it does work that way. Um, I appreciate medicine and I appreciate uh, hospitals and I'm, I was careful. Uh, the hospital was just 10 minutes away walking from here but I decided to be at my own home and, um, and I encourage uh, all women uh, that are having a healthy pregnancy to do the same or to not to do the same because I'm nobody to tell people what to do but to research it just to search and, and look for your options because they there really are other options you don't uh, the, the hospital route is one route and it might be okay for you but there are other routes as well there are other ways uh, to give birth uh, so just do your research uh, if you have any questions ask me um, I will respond I'm actually I've become quite uh, passionate about this topic since I gave birth to my son and I've done a lot of research about giving birth uh, before Mateo was born and, and as I say YouTube really helped me uh, getting to know a lot of birth stories so I wanted to share my own I know I didn't take any notes that day it's I'm a little bit scatterbrained today but uh, if you have any questions just let me know I'll be glad to answer them um, so yeah 
Thanks for listening and uh, I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. bye.